So this is a poncho frame sheller. Basically a poncho frame sheller is really just a way of making your poncho much more rigid. It's a, a frame that you construct that you then will tie your poncho to. Preferably as tight as possible. This is a little bit rushed and a little bit baggy. I only spent about 35 minutes putting this together. Really you want to spend about an hour and try and get it as tight as a drum if you possibly can. What's the advantages of a sh uh, having a, a, a shelter like this? Well, it makes your shelter far more rigid. It makes it a lot stronger. So in bad weather, this will provide a lot more flexibility for manoeuvring the shelter to meet the, the, uh, the change in weather. If you're in an area with direct sunlight, for example, and you're looking to try and get some shade from the sun, you can orientate this shelter very simply by manoeuvring it in such a way that it's blocking the sun's rays from reaching you. You can do the same thing with wind, obviously, if the wind is blowing in one direction and suddenly changes. Rather than having to rely on tying and untying a ridge line and then finding a place to manoeuvre your shelter, all you have to do with this is move the entire thing by hand. It's a very easy, very flexible shelter to do that with. It also provides a lot more support if you wanted to make a concealed shelter. So by integrating a rigid structure like this into your poncho, it allows you to put things like uh, branches or leaves or debris onto your shelter without it you know, making a, a sort of banana run out, which when it then rains, it's just going to sort of fill up with water and become uh, more of a, a burden than a benefit when it comes to having a shelter. This is a much more ideal way of doing it. You can also use this as a type of a low profile um, shelter by lying it flat on the floor and by having a little bit of a uh, a bowl in your centre um, pole like I've constructed here that allows you to be able to lie this completely flat on top of you and you still have a little bit of a gap between you and the material you can then of course cover that completely with leaves and then you would then be completely hidden underneath the leaves and just with maybe a stick with a Y in the end of it you can then lift it up and stick it there and it then becomes a very low profile um, shelter if you needed that for whatever reason. It's a shelter that you can put together with very little material in terms of uh, string. You can of course use natural material, uh, roots or you know something like uh, you know nettle stems or something to construct the string. I just carry a bit of bank line around with me anyway. So this I used about two meters worth of bank line, which from a bank line sort of carrying point of view is really nothing. It's a tiny little amount, weighs nothing. You can keep that in your pocket, no problem. Or in a dedicated sort of survival kit like I do, or utility pouch. Uh, I'll go into that in another video. Um, but so I used about two meters worth of cordage. Um, in order to tie the poles together in a, a square window frame type construction and then uh, an X rigid pole cross beam in the centre with a bit of a bow shaped pole in the middle which lifts it up off your, off your face so you can uh, use it in the way I've just described. Um, you could probably get away with using a lot less string than that. Like I say, I only spent about 35 minutes putting this together. If you really took your time and took care of what you were doing, you could get away with maybe less than a meter's worth of string. Um, you would just, once you tied off the four corners, you would leave a little bit of cordage and you would then use that to tie your poncho onto either end. Obviously you can do this with any kind of poncho. This one isn't a poncho that I primarily use as my shelter. This is uh, what I use as a raincoat really. It's very small and I just I keep it on this utility pouch and it becomes uh, if there's a, a bit of a, a sudden shower but I would I'll put it on it's the one with the hood in the middle uh, I'd put it on over myself and over my backpack and it becomes just a an all-round raincoat but it also of course doubles up as uh, a very effective shelter which people have been doing for a long time um, you can do it with your normal sort of freebie free shelters as well um, but you would have a much larger um, frame to then construct. Let me know what you think of this, this kind of shelter. 
um, any other practical uses. Um, obviously it's not perfect this one, like I say I didn't have a lot of time, I just thought I would put this together because I was out here in this woodland today and I had this with me anyway and I thought, you know, I don't think I've ever shown this type of shelter before. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of shelter videos actually I think because shelter's probably the most important thing uh, when it comes to survival situations or understanding your environment around you. Most people die of exposure above anything else, you know, they don't dehydrate or starve to death or anything like that. They die of exposure and in a lot of cases there's just really no need for that to happen. There's, there's endless things you can do once you realise that a lot of what's around you can become a shelter and you can, with a little bit of effort, turn it into something that you can shelter yourself from the elements pretty well from.